Hi! Today we're going to make a banana bread and the difference with the Mama. banana bread. Oh, and this is Asha. She's here uh, this morning with me. She woke up bright and early and she wanted to join me in the kitchen. So I'm excited to have her here. So what I did is last night before I went to bed, I took my flour and my oat flour. Um, when I measure out flour, I almost always use a kitchen scale. This costs less than $20 and it's really, it's really helpful because a cup measurement isn't always accurate. So one cup of whole wheat flour is four ounces and one cup of oat flour is 3.25 ounces. You don't have to go out and buy oat flour. You can just use um, the old fashioned oats and put them in your food processor and go ahead and uh, grind them up until the nice fine powder. So in this bowl, I put my whole wheat flour and I put my oat flour and I added one cup of milk kefir. The kefir is going to add, um, it's going to allow this to, the grains to just break down and be more easily digestible. In traditional foods, a lot of times what, what they do with grains is they do soak them overnight. So I didn't have a milk kefir, I only had strawberry kefir, which is a little bit sweeter. So I just went ahead and used that. So my banana bread might have a little bit of a strawberry flavor. And I just covered this with a kitchen cloth and I left it on my counter and that's it. And so here we are this morning and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do take one stick of softened butter, which is also a half a cup of butter. And I'm going to mix that with my, um, with my mixer and you can use it by hand or you can use a KitchenAid. And uh, that butter I'm gonna mix with half a cup of honey and followed by two eggs. And then my very ripe bananas that are dark in color and very sweet and the outside skins were almost black. And uh, then I'm gonna follow my vanilla, about one teaspoon and then a half a teaspoon of salt and about one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of uh, baking powder. So I'll be right back once I have all my ingredients uh, mixed up. So I'm gonna first start with creaming my, my butter and my sugar. So let me just go grab that. Okay, Asha helped me with the honey and uh, she's currently licking the spoon. She emptied out my raw organic honey into my bowl with softened butter. And now we're just gonna mix up the two with um, the mixer. that's done and what I, I do this? you can put that in the sink sweetheart and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack each of these eggs you never know when you have a bad egg and I have sometimes come across bad eggs Mom, I... and because of that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack each of these eggs in a bowl and then empty my bowl with one egg in, into my butter and honey mixture so one egg I crack into my bowl and it's a good egg and so I can add this and I'm going to take my second egg and the crack it. And here we go. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, beat this now.
husband is here now. Sweetheart, you can join us right here. Can we move over? Okay. Ooh, you just move but over here. Dad, but Dad, I'm going to go over there. Yeah, and you'll so be here. So she can go over there and I can be over here. This is my sweetheart, Andrew, and this is my sweetheart, Asha. I'm backwards. My sweetheart, Andrew, my sweetheart, Asha. Why did you forget? Oh, because I was looking at the video when I was talking, and then I saw your mirror image. Hi, sweetheart. And so now, we're going to go ahead and add our ripe bananas. Sorry, Andrew, I did it without you. Ripe bananas. Because I put the first And uh, since so I've got the children here, what I'm going to do, can we wait one second? Can we wait one second? What I'm going to do is I just added my two bananas, and I'm going to go ahead and mix that, and I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'll be right back. And Anjali, will you help me mix? And add Can I help mix too? Sure. We'll be right back. Okay, the girls and I have mixed up our wet ingredients. So in this bowl... We've got one stick of softened butter, half a cup of honey, two eggs, two very ripe bananas, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And let me just make sure that's it. I think I mentioned the half teaspoon of salt. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this my grains, which is my whole wheat flour and my oat flour with a Kefir that was soaked overnight. Can I, can I help your mix? You can help me mix. This is going to be a little bit harder because we're not going to use the electric mixer. What I'm going to use for this is called um, a Danish dough hook. It's uh, about $7, maybe 10 on Amazon. And I like this because it's really great for thick, uh, wet batters. And it's really good for batters that sort of like this where you use... Um, a, uh, a grain that's been soaked overnight and it, it just really cuts through the batter and so the girls and I are going to go ahead and mix that right up. Ready girl? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mix it. Mix it. Ooh. We don't want to get it, we don't want it to go out to the side so first I just kind of incorporate a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put some muscle into this. And my uh, mixture is actually really bubbly because I've let my grains ferment. And my grains are sort of alive now, I think, and they're they're eating up that milk and that kefir. Okay, can I do the last final one? Okay. Just gotta get really in there. Just gotta move this around. And you girls have been such a great help. You know, I love cooking with you and I love baking with you. But uh, she can start. You, well, you both are here, and Aunt Andrew is here now, and your baby brother's asleep. I do, I'm sorry, but I like the spoon for the honey. She did like the spoon for the honey, but we can we can make some tea later on, some honey. herbal tea, and we can certainly add honey. Maybe a cinnamon tea? Yeah, yeah we have a little honey. Yeah, but they're also cinnamon. Oh, come on. We're not going to argue about that, are we? So this, this dough is smoothing out. The lumps are being worked out. I'm not going to add any nuts to my banana bread, only because... My two-year-old and I are very allergic to nuts, but I do think walnuts or almonds or any nuts really would give it a nice texture, a little bit of a crunch, and extra protein. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but my batter, whenever I ferment my grains, whenever the night before I leave my grains, I soak them, and I make them into a cake or a cookie or banana bread in this case, my batter is really bubbly. It feels alive. It just feels like these grains are are just a little bit better for your body to digest. And I've noticed a difference with myself that when I do soak my grains, I'm able to digest much better. Okay, and that's really it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out a uh, a small bread loaf pan, and I'm going to line it with parchment it paper. It smells good. Oh, good. We're going to line it with parchment paper and uh, a little bit of butter. And I already have my oven preset at 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put my banana bread into the oven for about 55 minutes. I might start checking on the 45-minute mark to see if my bread is done. I anticipate it's going to take about 55 to 60 minutes. And we'll be back with the final result at Anjunasha. Thank you so much. Oh.
Thank you so much, Ashley, for joining us. A slight change of plans. This is Ajay, my youngest, my son. We decided since we need to be in school really soon in an hour, we don't have an hour for banana bread. So instead, we're gonna make banana bread muffins. And so I took my muffin tray and I lined them with um, cupcake liners. And I used an ice cream scooper to get my batter inside my cupcake liner. And it did fill exactly 12. So we're gonna bake these up and I'm gonna start checking at the 20 minute mark. And I'm really hoping they're done in 30 minutes. So that I will let you guys know how long it takes. And the muffins are done. The muffins took about 28 minutes. <coughs> they may take 30 minutes in your oven. I will start checking them out at the 25 or 28 minute mark. And uh, we have these delicate banana bread muffins that are slightly strawberry tasted. And I'm gonna let the kids enjoy these. <laughs> 